What's up guys, welcome, welcome to another Me Time Gamer video. Hope everybody's going well. I'm going fantastic for today. Uh, today I decided to do a, a sort of a tips and trick video for you guys. Uh, because I recently, with all the fallout craze going on here lately, I've decided to try out, and the steam cells actually, I decided to try out uh, Tales of Two Wastelands. So if you don't know what that is, uh, definitely go check it out online and get the explanation. There's a website exactly dedicated to that. Basically, for uh, the, in in the uninitiated, Tales of Two Wasteland. Basically, it put you have you have to have Fallout 3, the Game of the Year edition, and Fallout New Vegas, the Ultimate Edition, with all the DLCs and everything. So, and what what that does, the mod that that I am, I that this is basically makes you able to traverse between each game without uh, without loading each game separately so you're basically playing one big game and it does it in the system itself loading between one game and another but what's cool is it, it lets you keep the same weapons and all that stuff so they're interconnected to make one game so um, if you if you want to install this I'll tr I'll put the link in the description of the video so to use the same video I used to do the installation which was pretty nice I won't go to the entire explanation because it's a bit long but, uh, yeah. So what I'll do today, one thing I had problems doing is trying to find a train station uh, to get to New Vegas. Because it is recommended to start in Fallout uh, 3. Because it asks you at the beginning when you start a new game, if you do you want to start in Fallout 3 or New Vegas. And then Fallout 3 does say beside it, recommended. Because what happens is if you start in, in Fallout New Vegas, there's a mission you have to do, you'll see a bit later, you have to do... A mission to unlock the train station of quests so I'll show you what I'll show you is you have to start in Fallout 3 and uh, to and show you how to do the quest how to get how to get to the train station how to do the quest and go from there now for 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 video sake I turn on God mode and turn I got, I got a what's called a debug pistol in the game from entering a command so I'm able to shoot enemy in one shot so they won't be a bother or anything like that so if you guys don't have to do that the, the station is over here Sorry, just a second. I'm playing with a controller here, so so the station is over here. We're going, so you're right in the middle of downtown. So we're going to the mall northwest. So best way, and I oh, and I got all the the map markers turned on, so I can see where I'm going, so I don't have to find them myself for the demo sake. Um, so you got if you're downtown, you got the Capitol Building, you got the Museum of Technology, and you got the National Art the the National Archive. So where you want to go, it's going to be the mall northeast entrance to get there if you don't want to see how to do the, the the intro mission and all that i would recommend you stop the video right there because there's a quest to do and it's pretty simple it's cool i have to say right before i start that the, the guys that did this mod or or the guy or the, the guys that did the, this mod have made a great 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 job at uh doing like all the lines and stuff you'll see when uh, i'll get there so we'll, let's start the video okay so We'll, we'll go we'll go to the the mall entrance so we'll go here fast travel so we are this is a spot that already exists in the game so as you can see with the pistol I get one shot kills so we are going so once you transfer to the mall northeast you will find this entrance here metro station okay so you will enter this now, if you do have problems, please, if you do have problem with your mod, don't contact me. I don't know how to fix them. Go to the, the Tale, Tale of Two Waste, Tale of Two Wasteland website, and you'll, you'll get all the details there, how to fix it and everything like that. All right, so we'll go down here. <coughs> we do keep going in a straight line. So once you kill all the ghouls, and if you're doing this with no cheat, please... Uh, be advised, there's a lot of big, powerful enemies there, so uh, don't just go guns blazing and expect you're going to do if you're low level. Like I said, I do have mods turned on, or console commands turned on. So what you'll do after you enter from this door over here, you will turn in this direction, and then you will go to the right. And you see here, there's a path right here. There's a path right here, which will lead you to a new section in the game. Right here. Judiciary Square Metro. This is a new section. Alright. So hopefully it's not too dark. Oh, I won't stay here for too long. So basically we go from there. We go up the stairs. 
There's not much here to gather, so don't don't waste time. All right. So there's a couple more super mutants if I remember. So before I keep going, we're going over here. This is the place we're going to. Of course, if you don't have the, all the markers on, this will not be there. But th this is the direction. This is the direction where we're going. Okay. So over here. Boop, 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 boop. So that's the building over there where we're going. Now, this, I also forgot to say this is for version of the for 2.4 and up. So if you have 2.2, this is not the right metro station. But I do rec you recommend to have a less buggy game to install 2.4 and up. Right in the dick. Now, all this area here is all designed by the modder itself. This, mo this this location does not exist in game and it looks freaking awesome. We can see the, the details to the building. Alright, so when we get the building, this big building here. So I came from over there, and now I'm here. Oh. Am I going to get him from here? this door? No, there's a door a bit farther down. There you go, this is the door. Union Station, so this is a new station that the modder added. Okay, so now you will have a couple of things. Okay. You will have a couple of enemies to kill here. Why are you not dying? got dick shot for days and you're not dying. Okay. So after you kill all the enemies, you enter here and you go straight across from the entrance. You'll see it's got blast doors and power must be restored before scary barrier is lifted. So this activates the Union Station mission. To tell you, oh, you have a, a quest. This is pretty cool. They actually made a quest for you to, to, to unlock the train station. This is pretty cool. They just the before, if I remember the other videos I watched before. The um, the quest the the doors are just unlocked. So they. Well, it's not the station doesn't look like this. All right. So what you have to do first is power the station. So you're gonna have to go here in this door right here. We came in through these doors. These are the blast doors where we need to go once it's unlocked. And this is a stairwell, right here. Alright, so from here, we'll go to the entire other end and go downstairs. Now there is some ghouls and all those things, so do keep that in mind. Enter another metro station. Yeah, door is you just you come out of here, you do a U turn, and you're onto the other door. Downstairs. Uh, it's over here. Nope, that's another place. Sorry. Alright, so there's a turret. Be careful. You can turn it off if you have enough power. I'm just gonna kill the shit out of it. Oh, and be careful, there is fire. For me, it doesn't matter because I have God mode turned on. Sometimes it's where the mod doesn't activate all the, uh, the things. So, once you enter from this location here, I'm, I'm going to tell you everything there is to do for this mission, right? I'm gonna, um, so, if you don't want to see what to do, just to stop the video. But So, anyway, you'll go to this terminal here. You're going to need, um, go to message, password request, and the password turn on. So, you got the, the password to turn on the reactor. Okay, there's nothing over there yet, if I remember, you have to go over here, 
So across, then we go down. <coughs> okay, so we go open place, the reactor's just there. Alright, so when you do this, this is the computer turn on the reactor. Start reactors, error, reactor is not primed. So now we have to reprime reprime the thing. Now it says optional obtain a rea uh, reactor primer, but it's not optional, you have to do it. As of as I've can I can see. When I did it I didn't have the option to do it or not. So you're gonna have to go down the stairs from where we came from. Keep going from here. Now this here will just this door here you don't have to go here because this just leads you back to uh, the, the terminal upstairs. So just keep going down. There's a goal here. And the primer's right here. Nothing too complicated, right? So. Okay, obtain the primer. We got that done. Now you can go back here, but you need to go down here and you'll put the primer. Okay, that's why it's optional because you, if you got to repair a 50, you can fix this. But just go find the reactor core, the, the primer. And go back up to the terminal. And we will start reactor. When you turn the breakers back on. So now we go back to the metro station. We have four breakers to turn on here. So you go back to the, the, the where you came from. Uh, upstairs here. You turn again. <coughs> All right. So I came from here, but I'm, I'll go upstairs because the first breaker is the easiest one. It's right here. So that door doesn't work here. Hello, cockroach, rad roach. Okay, so this is the super mutant we killed earlier. This is where we were down there. First breaker, they're all they're all beside the, beside the stairwells like this. So activate this one. First one's on. Go across to the entrance. Uh, yeah, this way. Up the stairs. Boom. Union Station. They're always beside the doors when you exit to the Union Station second level. Alright, so we did this one, we did this one over here. So now you just jump down. I don't know if you lose power if you're not if uh if you got a uh, don't have God mode turned on, but it's not that high of a jump. I think you can make it a normal mode. So the blast doors are still there. We still have <coughs> we still have two more to do. You go up this little ramp. The other one's right, one's here. That one's turned on. So the next one, I don't... Uh, yeah. So you have to go through the restaurant and be careful. There is uh, two super mutants, I think. Yeah. Just okay, a dick shot. Oh, uh, here. Hello. Oh, there you are. There's one right here. Hello, buddy. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. And then it's the first, the only door you can go through upstairs. Then after that, activate. Jump down. Go to the train. Go see the train schedule. There you go. That the mission's done now. It was pretty pretty simple. You have the right weapons to do it or so. And you got the It's pretty cool. Where are we going? Where are we going? So we're going to Lucky seventy seven seven. And of course this little Easter egg here. Boston twenty fifteen for Fallout four. 
Hopefully you guys are as hype as I am for that. Alright, so now we'll go where the blast doors were. Of course, they're not there anymore. U Union Tracks Station. Alright, so you enter here. You go, you can jump down or you can just... Well, here, I'll just show you just in case you don't have any... I have to remember to turn on the pit boy, it's pretty dark. Alright, so once you're downstairs, you're, you come out of that door up here, to the left, far left, there's a station. There's nothing in this door, so don't worry about it. And you, when you do want to traverse between each games, it does cost you caps. So of course, oh damn it, I forgot to, uh, oops, just give me a second. Okay, so once you have enough caps, I just entered uh, another console command just because it's just for the demo sake. You need 500 caps to buy a ticket. Alright. So for the, for when you're in, when you're in DC, the train is, uh, on this, on the left side. And you'll see fully customized train. That's what's pretty cool. There's like it's fully customized. Everything's designed for the mod. It looks pretty awesome. So you go to the door. There's a first the conductor door and then there's a second door right be right behind it. Train to New Vegas. Okay. Then you just go go this, travel. It's pretty cool what it does when you travel for the first time it, uh, to blend the two games together. I'll, I'll let, I'll, either I'll skip or I'll just show you, but it shows you nine years later, and then it, it, it walks you into the game. I'll probably just skip it because it plays the whole intro. So basically what's cool is it acts like, uh, like the 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 traveler from the the Fallout 3 after he's done uh, technically you should be done all the the mission the main mission and it acts like you you travel to New Vegas you become a courier then you get shot in the head so it acts like it's the first char it's one character even if in the written in the canon the canon of things it's not true it's not the same player so yeah my name is Jonathan I have to say, this is one of the first big game I buy for PC, and I I like the uh, the graphics are so nice compared to the PS3 version, of course. But like, I, I was I'm really actually really impressed. Now, what it does here, it's it's gonna do the 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 sequence there, your name. You can I, I think you can change your name. I don't think it's gonna bug it. Okay, you can just press done. I don't think you can change anything. Probably can, but. And what's cool is they modded it enough, so you don't have to do you don't have to do the other things, like the intro, like the special, and that it, it it pretends like you do need to do the 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 intro. Oh my God, I'm so dizzy. I'm so dizzy. So we're gonna go to Vigor or whatever they call it, calls it. Vidomatic vigor, yeah, tester. So we'll just wait till it's done because it's not it's just stupid and it bugs out a bit. So use the vigor. See, it doesn't even do it anymore. It just pretends. It just goes with the score you already have. So that's that's a pretty cool thing about this this mod. So you don't have to go through like right now, and even skips like the whole. Uh, let's look at these stupid little cards. There's to see so your your what you do and stuff. So right now he just goes around and then he just goes to the exit and shows you out. There you go. Oh my god, I'm blind. Alright, so we'll turn on our pit boy. Oops, we will just grab our debug pistol, mega pistol again. Yes, 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 yes. So when when the first time you go back it gives you all the DLC stuff. So now what I'll do is I'll show you where the unit, where how to get back to DC. 
So it's again pretty simple. Once again, I have all the all the map markers turned on. If I remember correctly, it turns it on for all of them when I enter them the first time. Yep, it does. So see all the map markers are on there. So right now we will go to the strip gate north north strip gate. All right, so we'll go back to Freeside, and we'll go to if you know the game a bit, you'll go to uh, uh, the Mormon Fort where the followers are. is going on okay who's shooting so once you're here mormon forts over here uh this uh yeah i don't remember what's this gate's name but where the big sign is Freeside, Mormon Fort, you will go this way. Now, what's fun? What's fun about this is there's no uh, there's no mission on this side because you already unlocked it, so you don't have to do it again. So basically, you go all the way over here and you'll see the sign. You can already see it over there. The fuck? That's a that's a weird hitbox. I'm in God mode, so I don't need to reload. Okay, I was wondering why. So we go to the nice little door over here. You go to the right side, downstairs. Through the big Union Station doors. <laughs> My lighting was a bit bad. Alright. So this one's a bit more sim simple, right? You turn on the consoles right there. Purchase a ticket. I think this time it's. No, it's on the left side again, yes. But this time it's on this side. First door, conductor door, second door. There you go. You go to the other side. Travel to Wasteland. Bada bing. It's pretty cool the way they do it. So then two weeks later, that's pretty cool actually took the time to do that they didn't they could have just almost teleported you to the other game and it would have done so this time since you oh there's a passenger car I didn't even notice this before oh my god I didn't know what the f they actually took the time to do this no oh no I'm, don't tell me I'm stuck Okay, well, I, I, won't, I won't go into full discovery here. We'll just get out of this train. That's it. You're back, you're back in D.C. You're back to the train station now to go to the exit. Pretty sure you got where the exit is. I'll show you anyway, just so you can. If some people are have problem reverse engineering their way out there, it's a pretty fun game. I like it so far. That the two, the two things together, it's pretty cool. I haven't done a lot because I'm I'm playing the PS3 version to get all the trophies to finish that off. But uh, I'm definitely gonna try to mess around with mods on the PC version. Right now, I got one that uh, there's a. I won't. I won't. I won't go show you anything like that because that's not what the video is for. But there, there is one where uh, where it upgrades your luck, um, your lucky thirty eight uh, penthouse. Not the penthouse, the pl the presidential suite where you live, you live in for Mister House. So that that mod is called Lucky Thirty Eight Reloaded, if I remember. Definitely check that out. It's really full pledge. I'll put it. I'll put it in the description for you guys.
the the video for the, to show you that one, but not not from me, from another person. And that's it. We're back to Columbus Plaza or whatever that's called. All designed by the modder. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It helped you out. Uh, please, like I said at the beginning, don't don't ask me how the mod works. I don't know how it works. I just followed the video tutorial and everything worked. I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't have to because they're on the download page. Uh, on the sorry, the fact page of frequently asked question about how to get to the train station page. Uh, they just explained to you, and I had a hard time finding this place because he doesn't he doesn't explain you how to get here. Just by well, explore and you'll find it. And I wanted to make a video because a lot of people were asking. If you don't want, like, like I said at the beginning, sorry if you watch all this way and you're like, oh, I didn't want to see all that. Sorry if you watched it. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, this mod's pretty cool. There is a patch because sometimes when you get to this station, there's rubble in front of the door or something. I don't know. Mine just worked the first shot, so. And I had a hard time finding it at the beginning because uh, the other videos I watch in the 2.2 version of this of this mod. The train station was over here, and you didn't have to do a mission or everything like that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this this video helped you as much as it that uh, it helped me when I first did it. Uh, if you like the video, please go, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see me every t every day, usually I'm streaming every day of the week. Twitch.tv forward slash me time gamer. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at me time gamer, or you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash me time gamer. And uh, I got a Reddit page too. Don't do a lot there, but uh, same thing, same title. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Keep it fresh, guys.